In this video episode I'm going to show you three more additional tests to the new Raspberry Pi 2. We're going to test the temperature with my thermal imaging camera so you can see exactly what temperature the Raspberry Pi has when we are going to power it from my power supply unit and since we are connecting it, the Raspberry Pi to my power supply unit we also will be able to measure exactly the current being drawn from the Raspberry Pi and we're, during these tests we're going to run some benchmarking and these benchmarking will show us what the maximum power uh, being drawn from the power supply will be but also it will give us more information what the temperature rise will be of the uh, Raspberry Pi 2 uh, during the entire test I will use not only the Raspberry Pi 2 which is the new one but I also uh, do the exact same things using, using the old Raspberry Pi system so you can see exactly what the differences are between those two so I have here two Raspberry Pis this is the new Raspberry Pi 2 these power supply units are connected to my computer that I can read out exactly how much current they are drawing and during these tests I will also show you what uh, the temperature readings are from the Raspberry Pis I will do that using this thermal imaging cam that is targeted to these two devices I'll show you first that if for example I connect my phone to the power supply socket you will see that it starts charging right away and you can see the current that has been drawn from the power supply as you see it's increasing now and the phone will charge I will connect this back to my Raspberry Pi I will shoot down the power supplies right now as you can see on the computer screen and I will attach the uh, new Raspberry Pi on the left and the old Raspberry Pi to the right so for the thermal imaging cam my finger here that is the Raspberry Pi 2, the new one and this is the old one um, I will enable the power right now on the left and right so they are about both now powered on and you can see that in the thermal imaging cam both of the units are now getting a little bit hotter in this region uh, you can see exactly what the current temperature is so you see that the AR1 that is the bottom side the AR1 has a temperature of maximum 35 degrees Celsius on this side of the screen you can see that the Raspberry Pi 2 is now drawing more than 250 milliamps and the old Raspberry Pi is consuming 400 milliamps um, this is idle currently both of the Raspberry Pis have the latest image from January and there is nothing installed on the on the Raspberry Pis uh, except the basic things you get from the Raspberry Pi Wheezy um, I will disconnect the Ethernet port so you can see what changes it brings from the current consumption so you see it on the left it's now decreasing over here I also do it on the old Raspberry Pi and also there you can see the current is changing uh, please also look on the graph on the right of both applications where you can see that the current is now decreasing before I reconnect the Ethernet cable I also want to attach the HDMI cable to see to show you what changes it will give when I attach the HDMI plug so please watch the current consumption and as you can see it isn't increasing very much on the Raspberry Pi 2 I will deattach this and connect it to the old Raspberry Pi and also there is no change from the HDMI port when I connect it ok I will put back the Ethernet connection to both of the Raspberry Pi so we can start logging in and also on this Raspberry Pi so they're both now connected to the network 
we we'll start connecting to the new one and we also make a connection to the old one and you can see the power fluctuating in the uh, screens above we start by showing you the top applications currently running on the Pi 2 this is a clean install also this one you can see the applications running currently on the Raspberry Pis so I will clone this view so we can keep it on top but now we have the Raspberry Pi on the left that's the new one and the old Raspberry Pi on the right also the same holds from the power supply the right one is the old one and the left one is the new one they are both supplied with 5 volts and currently are still doing a, a idle yeah, idle operation around 1% of the CPU is currently used um, we start some benchmarking applications I added to the Raspberry Pi and they are in the bench folder and let's see I will run the let's start with the whetstone test uh, yeah I can do it almost together so I will start it very quickly together please take a look also to the temperature graph as you can see the Raspberry Pi is the old one is getting heating up uh, a lot I will increase the color chart because otherwise the board just get invisible so this is better now I think so maybe bring this to 45 degrees so you have a better view of it okay bring it a little bit to the left this one too okay let's start the benchmark and we'll run it right now one two three you can see the current is increasing They are currently done. You see the test results. I will now start the other tests. Uh, the link pack. And the same on the new Raspberry Pi. Link pack. Pi A6. One, two, three. Again, you can see the current increasing from both of the devices. Okay, the test is already done. As you can see, the Raspberry Pi 2 has a better uh, score than the Raspberry Pi 2. I will start the final Limpack single and we do the same for the other one. Um, well, let's start again. One, two, three. these tests are also done now um, please take a good look to the um, thermal imaging camera you can see that the uh, old Raspberry Pi is now 50 degrees Celsius and the maximum temperature of the new Raspberry Pi is 42 degrees I will flip over the new Raspberry Pi since the memory controller is on the bottom so here you have the temperature of the other side I will change it again and also show you the temperature from this one on the other side 
by the way it leaves a footprint on the table from the heat and as you can see on the bottom there you have the I don't know is it the CPU now it's an internet controller the internet controller is quite hot and you here you see the, uh, uh, the white spot is the hottest place of the PCB um, over there is the power supply unit if I move it a little bit outside the region you can see that it is 42 degrees this power supply unit and let's put it back um, for this test I didn't attach any USB parts to the uh, Raspberry Pi's I made a mistake there was still a, a USB receiver in the old Raspberry Pi I will deattach it so please take a look to the current right now I think it will decrease if I disconnect it one two yes as you can see it uses several milliamps when I disconnect the uh, USB mouse and keyboard receiver I will do the same for the new Raspberry Pi if I touch it you can see how much current the receiver is drawing so it's still a few milliamps let's detach that um, there's also an option in the Raspberry Pi itself to see the temperature of the processor um, so we insert it and then we see the actual temperature measured from the CPU um, I will adjust the thermal imaging camera to just make the CPU visible so now you can see the temperature of only the CPUs here on the right so the uh, new Raspberry Pi the temperature are is 40 degrees this is this one the max maximum temperature and the old Raspberry Pi is 43 degrees and as you measure it from the Raspberry Pi itself I don't know watch is installed yes so we could do watch and also in this place so you can see there is an actual temperature dif difference in the software output from the Raspberry Pis but all you can also you can see it on the thermal imaging camera that there is a slight temperature difference between the two processors um, I will stop this right now and I will do a continuous loop of the um, well yes, link pack So this keeps the CPU for a continuous 100% usage. This will also increase the temperature. As you can see on the left, we could add a chart. From both of the CPUs. And the highest temperature is the Raspberry Pi, uh, uh, the old Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 1. And the new Raspberry Pi 1 is now 36 degrees Celsius. In the background, it's using 100% uh, of CPU currently. And let's uh, roll it for a few minutes. Okay, I will stop this test now. Now you have an idea how much current the Raspberry Pi is using. I hope you liked it and if you have tips for other tests with, with these Raspberry Pis, please let me know. So we're now going to cancel these tests. So 
no more CPU stress anymore. You can see both of the temperatures falling right now and also the power consumption is falling of both devices. Good, I will disable the power supply from here. So off and off. Okay, this was my video review. I hope you liked it. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up to keep me going on this channel. Hope to see you again. Bye!